Welcome back, and, and or thank you for finding my video. Once again, my name is Bill, and I'm building a photo booth. Um, I pretty much completed 100% the road case portion of the photo booth, meaning uh, the actual shell. Shell was completed in the previous videos. In this video, I, I started customizing the box to represent uh, a photo booth. Uh, what I've done here is uh, started uh, composing the back door to to this happens to be the top part. Um, I've already put on the hinges, started doing some cutting. You may not be able to see it in the lighting, but I've already cut out the shape for our latches. You may not be able to see in there, but they are there. Um, this, this task could probably be better well done with this piece unassembled on a workbench, uh, drawing it out that way, cutting it out that way. Um, once again, I have a very small uh, workplace, work area, and uh, um, I work better with uh, the things in more of a visual aspect, as opposed to just drawing it out on paper and then drawing it out on, on the on the material and cutting it out. Um, I need to see more what the finished product is looking like uh, so I don't make any major mistakes. So what I've done here is I first cut out the hinge portion of the door. I've attached my hinge and I've riveted, riveted my hinge in, leaving the, op the two outer ones open and exposed because uh, I may be slightly sliding or sliding under one of the aluminum angles underneath it. So just in case I put a little bit under, I wanted to be able to have that ability to slide it under. Otherwise the hinge is completed. Um, uh, how large your door is going to represent in the type of materials you're going to put in. The top door does not need to be as big as the bottom door. You're putting in a lot less materials or materials of larger size. However, I'm going to make it uniform, uniform top and bottom. Um, this here is going to go around all your edges. All your edges in on the door and in the frame all the way around. I'll be cutting the corners to an angle so they can meet, uh, be riveting them in. The latches will go on. I, I'm very adamant about my latches lining up evenly, uh, and that's another reason why I, I draw it out on the material uh, like this. I want it, I want it to be uh, certain distance from the edges, certain digits from left and right, and I want these to line up properly and not at an angle. Uh, so doing it together like this, it's going to be correctly measured. I'm not ruler impaired, but I am uh, not measurement impaired, but uh, put the two together sometimes I, I become impaired. So um, I, I work the way I know I can work best, which is unorthodox. Um, so what I'm going to do next is uh, uh, describe how I made these cuts. Uh, these cuts were done with a circular saw circular table saw with the ability to drop the blade onto your product. Okay, in this, like this, with this up, does not touch the product and you slowly bring it down onto the product, creating, creating your slot, creating your first cut, then sliding it down, then sliding it down. Now, because I'm building this inside the box, um, I get two reasons why. A, I've already described. B, many places sell pre-built boxes, so I wanted to do it this way and think to myself, do I want to, in the future, build another box and try a pre-built box and then customize it. Um, uh, the first project is to save some money, uh, as well as learn more about the, more about the project itself. Um, so 
So in the future, I may buy a pre-made box, therefore I'll be cutting it this way. Um, but uh, you're not going to be able to use your circular saw all the way to the corners and will require some uh, jigsaw to finish it off. This one cuts a little bit thinner, a little bit thinner cut, so you have to keep that in mind when, when, uh, when doing, the, doing the measurements and doing actually what your finished product will look like. So that's all for this step of the video. My next step of the video will, you will see the cut holes. You will see me starting to rivet on the actual hardware as well as the frame. Thank you.